everyone, welcome back to another Marnie and Michael Monday. This week, due to many requests, we're gonna tackle date night. Tips, ideas, and so forth. So to make this a little more fun for us, we each compiled a list of five things, be them, be them? Whether they're tips or specific <laughs> activities to do, we have not, I'm we hiding them. We, we have, have not shared, shared them, and I wanna see. So it's possible we'll have overlap. Overlap, what a concept yeah. in a video like this. Anyway. Yeah. So, do you want to go first? Yep. First one that I have on the list, and I think the way I kind of created this, it was an eye towards us obviously being together for 20 plus years, but I think yeah. some of these things might not be applicable to people that aren't uh, cohabitating or are just kind of new to the dating. Oh, I think I know one of the things you If mean. you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So, anyway, um, the first thing I have on there is something that we have in Texas at least called painting with a twist. Oh my gosh! You have that on there too? I, yeah. I, well, yes, sort of, but I'll get to it. It's basically, I've yeah. done it before, you know, for kind of office outings, but we yeah. need to do it together. I, know, I, I think we would appreciate it, and the kids would like it, I think, even. The no, kids? The kids. <laughs> date night. No, 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 date night, but for a separate kind of activity. Okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, I'm like, they don't get to come on date night. Right. So, anyway, painting with a twist essentially is, you know, you go to this uh, kind of classroom essentially and they have blank canvases and they have an instructor and they kind of teach you how to do painting even if you're a complete novice like me and you come up with something that at least approximates a nice painting and you do it together and they have wine or you bring your own alcohol yeah i was gonna ask is there yeah. alcohol yeah they well you bring your own i think they might offer it mm. but it's relatively inexpensive from what i recall and it's a nice night out a few hours Sounds like fun. Yeah. Did you have it on your list? Um, well, it was, yes. I said an activity like the painting with the twist. Right. We've done the, um, that's the other one with, with the clay fire pieces and you yeah, paint the clay. Yeah, that would be another one. That would be good too. Yeah. 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 The kids have had birthday parties as well <laughs> for those kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. Also fun kid activities, apparently. Yeah, they absolutely are. These are definitely kid activities. Okay, do it. All right, what's your, what's your first one? Yeah. Okay. I said date night doesn't have to be at night. It could be in the morning, like a breakfast <laughs> yeah. outing. Because, we do that every week. Well, you know, not everybody has a circumstance that we have during the school yeah. year. Our kids, we have services Saturday mornings that we infrequently attend. Um, but then Sunday school for our kids is separate on Sunday from 9 to 12. Definitely. And our synagogue is nowhere near our house. So we drop the kids off at 9 o'clock, a little bit before 9. And mm -hmm. we have three hours pretty much to do what we want. So that's our date morning. But then I was also going to say, if you have a flexible work schedule, mm -hmm. once the kids go back to school, especially for little parents of younger children, Definitely. you could drop the kids off at school, do a quick breakfast, and then mm -hmm. go off to work. Yeah, you could do that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, breakfast is probably the perfect kind of date, especially if you want to explore new restaurants that offer breakfast, yes. lunch, and dinner. Because, you know, it's the most inexpensive meal of the day. <laughs> I like good. that. Breakfast and lunch is a good option. Yeah, and I guess I should say that it doesn't always have to... Obviously, we're gearing it toward people who have kids because that's us. Yeah. But these are just great date options. Even I think if you so. are without child. Yes. Okay, your turn. Don't okay, uh, second thing on my list is going to the grocery store to get <laughs> items for a family room picnic. Um, and then you have a picnic slash movie night at home in your family room or wherever you would watch a movie. That's my So that, that's the key. You're going to the grocery store to get items for not just a picnic that you go outside, but I, I think that what makes it more intimate and fun and just, you know, kind of adds to the ambiance is to do a family room picnic. I love that. And so you basically go with your spouse or significant other and you walk up and down the aisles of your local grocery store or specialty food market, like uh, Whole Foods would be kind of fun, yeah, or oh, Trader yeah. Joe's. Or H -E places like that, Potash Market, places like that in Chicago. I don't know that one. And, um, you know, you get like the specialty stuff. So you're not doing it every week, so it's not crazy expensive. But once in a while you go and you get like the high-end cheeses. We love cheese. We love cheese. We love like exotic cheeses. That's what you and I you love. You love exotic stinky cheeses. I love stinky cheese, but you like exotic cheeses. And then sometimes we'll explore, like you'll have wine maybe a little bit. You'll explore different kinds of wine. Yeah. And honey, and honey, all the little things yeah, that you little put with it. Yeah, little condiments that go with it. The cheese lady To me, that's actually name. the most fun thing to do. And then we can just go on and either get a red box or we can do a Netflix or something and watch a movie. We do that. We need to do that. That's awesome. We haven't yeah. done that in a We should do it month. once a month at we least. We should. Yeah. Yeah. So 12 times a year. Maybe. Hmm. we got to put that on the calendar. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Okay. Um, my tip number two is go for a walk somewhere mm -hmm. 
not necessarily even in your own neighborhood. So, um, you know, sometimes okay. time is short and money is short. Walking mm -hmm. is free. So if you just want to yeah. hop out of the house real fast and just go for a walk around your own neighborhood in the evening. Yeah. The whole purpose of date night is connecting. Is connecting. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't have to be this huge production. It can just be as simple as taking a walk around the block in your Take neighborhood. Take your dogs with you if you have them. You can. <laughs> or, you know, if walking around your neighborhood is getting a little boring, yeah. get in your car and go to somebody else's neighborhood. Yeah. And walk around. Or we, walk around a neighborhood that you want to look at the different architecture yeah. and the houses. Like, um, for us, we like driving down to the King William District. Yeah, sure. Usually during look the day. some Victorian style homes. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. And it's free. Yeah. I like yeah. that one. Thank Great. You. Okay, my next one is uh, do a staycation night at a local hotel. Okay, that's um, a major date night. So that, that could be a major date night, although if you can take some PTO or time away from your office or if you have a flexible work schedule, different you know times during the course of a month or different times during the course of a week, you can get great deals yes, on a true. night. I mean, you can stay at a five-star hotel sometimes for well under $200 a night. Yeah, what it would cost you for a really nice And we've dinner. done that before, yeah. absolutely, yeah. And so, you know, you can have all the kind of fun of staying at a great mm -hmm. local hotel. You know, most towns will have one or more really nice hotels, you know, not the normal Red Roof Inn or Motel we've 6 kind of too. thing. Although those could be fun, I suspect, on a certain level. But what I was thinking <laughs> is, Find a really great deal on a nice hotel and maybe coordinate your schedule work-wise and socially in a way where you can actually enjoy a really nice hotel for a night in your town. Yeah, we need to do another one. Yeah, and we really did fun. one recently at the Alan Hotel that was amazing. near La Cantera, which is a very nice shopping area in San Antonio. And uh, this particular hotel, I mean, oh it, my God. we've stayed at Four Seasons Hotels and mm -hmm. I've stayed at nice hotels for work over the years. This is on par with virtually any hotel oh yeah. room that we've ever been at. It was gorgeous. So it was awesome. I want to live there. And, uh, you know, it's less than five miles away from our house. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. That was an awesome night. Well, that's a good segue to my tip, which was play tourist in your own city. Yeah. So a lot of times you sort of take for granted all the touristy kind of cheesy spots hmm. in your own city and you don't go. But the reality is there's a reason everybody wants to go see them. It's fun. Yeah. So, you know, wherever in San Antonio, go to the Alamo, go to the Riverwalk, River go to the Tower of America. Go to the zoo. Go to the, oh, we haven't been to the zoo in forever. Yeah, go to the museums. It's a thousand maybe. degrees outside. But, you yeah. know, find one of those touristy things. Go look at the historical markers in your town. Just not only is it fun because you're spending time doing something a little different than what mm -hmm. you normally do mm -hmm. with your favorite sure. person in the world. But you're learning something about your actual city. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And, um, you know, things like, I remember when we lived in Chicago, hmm. we'd never go to the Sears Tower. Or, no, I'm sorry, wait, I mean, it has a new name. What's it called? I think it's got a, a couple of new names now, so we're well... Oh, whatever. That what really tall building in the middle. <laughs> used to be the Willis Tower, and yeah. I think it's something else. It's not? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, you know, people take it for granted, but they're really neat things about your city, and I highly recommend playing tourist in your city. It's a lot of fun. I think that's awesome. Okay. All right, my number four idea is go to Ikea, <laughs> or if you don't have an Ikea, some type of a home improvement store, like an interactive home improvement store, the kind of store that you'd actually go walking up and down the aisles, and you wouldn't buy something that's that's already prefabbed or already made, but something that requires a little bit of uh, you know muscle put into it to make sure that you kind of work collaboratively on a project. And so the idea is you go to an Ikea-type store, or Ikea if you have one, and you plan a home project together. And you spend I love how you're smiling. kind of an afternoon or an evening doing that because that, we've done that before uh -huh. and it's been a lot of fun. And some of these stores, like IKEA, you can actually eat there. Yeah, that, like I like a, that part. You have, a, you have some, like a meal, like a lunch or a dinner while you're there figuring out a home project. And, you know, it could be ranging in large home projects to, you know, relatively small home projects, like a piece of furniture. That could be some people's idea of the seventh circle of hell. Hmm. But, you know. Not sure about that. It teach, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> it teaches you how to work together. It teaches and, you um, to work together and you plan together. You're planning a project for the house that you all share together. Obviously, this hopefully. would be for a couple that's married. cohabitating or married. But, you know, you're doing something come, kind of for the for the common good of your, your family. It was fun. That we was don't great. need any more stuff, do we? Uh, maybe. Well, we were thinking about doing, like, a, one of the closet redesigns oh, yeah. or something. So, that you know, Ikea fun. or, like, the container store or... You do realize that's your Places project. like that. Yeah, but we would do it together. I'm talking about you can go out at night on a date, actually. Yes. I'm and uh, go through, you know, those kinds of stores and kind of plan out your project and figure out what you need. 
I'm really getting excited. Yeah. I want to stop filming and go to the container store. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> or Ikea. <laughs> um, Ikea is my favorite. Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? Yours. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Right? Um, I think I'm on five. Yeah, you're on four or five. Okay. Five, yeah. Okay, so this is more of a tip than mm -hmm. an activity. Um, and this is geared towards parents of younger children who still need babysitters. Mm. That is the advantage of having teenagers. I don't have to get a babysitter anymore. Mm. But when I did... Probably a know, good idea to get a babysitter even now in some ways. Oh There's that. <laughs> even as teenagers. Yeah, yeah. Um, babysitters are expensive and sometimes hard to line up. And mm -hmm. then there's the whole thing where they come right around dinner time and the kids are all keyed up and yeah. they don't yeah. want you to leave. And you, the sitter's got to make them dinner or, or you know, get them ready right. for bed. And that whole hectic. thing... We figured out, one, mm -hmm. because it was way more cost effective, and secondly, then we didn't have to deal with all the drama of leaving. Sure. Have the sitter come after the kids are in bed. Or about ready to be in bed. No, yeah. I liked it better when after they were they asleep. Were they asleep. didn't even know you left. Yeah. Um, the sitters just kind of sit down you in the know, family room and watch TV Yeah, they TV just chill out and watch TV. Hours. It's the easiest 20 bucks they're going to yeah, make or whatever. Right. You pay a sitter for two hours. I don't even yeah. know anymore. But um, And then we would go do like appetizers or kind yeah. of like desserts and drinks. You know, it's a quick, it's place. a quick, it's a quick date. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, even if it's just running down the street to your, mm -hmm. the nearest restaurant, like for us, we would mm -hmm. run down to El Daco's oh, yeah. and do a little yeah. tableside guac and a mojito yeah. and be back. Do you want to explain what that is to people who aren't necessarily familiar with it? I think that? they've <laughs> seen that in our vlogs. Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a right. Mexican restaurant not too far from our house, El Daco's. Just, we could just live on tableside They make table guacamole side. made yeah, from cradle to grave. They oh, start with so all good. the raw ingredients and put it together and it's a... Guacamole. It's an experience. It's amazing, yeah. You know, and it's 45 minutes on your back home and you've yeah. gotten a, a quick little break. Or we would go to Barnes & Noble and have a coffee and then right. come back. But my tip is just, if you get the sitter after they're in bed, 8, 8.30, mm -hmm. and then you're back by 10, 10.30, it's not too expensive. No. Your sitter's young enough to probably go out and party at 10.30 and you'll get to bed. And it's it's a win-win. Yeah, it is a win-win. Awesome. Okay. And that's all I got. Cool. I just had one final thing. And I, I think maybe we're sensitive to it because we have kids that are in high school, but I was thinking about it, and I don't know necessarily that you have to have kids in the local high school. They could either be not in the high school yet, or your kids could be long beyond high school. Or not but in your either. local community, what about attending like a local high school game or a presentation like a play or a oh, musical yeah. theater? We've done it obviously over the years well, yeah. because the kids are either in the, uh, <laughs> the performance yeah. in the game itself, or like for instance with our older son, he gets extra credit if he goes to the musical theater or the, you know, some of the drama theater mm -hmm. that's presented at the high school, he gets like English credit, yeah. extra credit for it. So we've gone with him. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, really you know, that's actually a lot of fun. And the kids are really talented. They're really good. Uh, whether it's our football team or basketball team or baseball team, uh, you know, they're, they're really hardworking. And, uh, and, the, and the theater arts were pretty impressive to me too. Amazing. I mean, I'd go to that theater and I'm not a theater connoisseur, but I, I couldn't, I could not appreciate a significant distinction between some of the presentations we've seen at the high school yeah. and what we've seen on, you know, Broadway type That's theater. True. I mean, when we saw Wicked in London at the Apollo Theater, that was really nice and everything. But, you know, some of these kids I saw at our high school yeah. were amazing to me. And I probably don't have that much of a critical eye, but <laughs> I was thinking... These kids are pretty darn good. They could probably perform something similar. They were, well, he's talking about our spring musical was Les Mis, mm -hmm. Les Miserables. Yeah. And, or however you say that. And it was <laughs> amazing. And the set does that. Anyway. Unreal, yeah. It's a good point. There's, you know, the orchestra, the, the jazz band, choir. There's so many things, yeah. It, and it's yeah. really cost effective. I mean, most of everything that we have listed here, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, the pot potential staycation night at a local hotel. Get expensive. Could get expensive unless you kind of really bargain hunt for it. But... Virtually everything else is, uh, you know, you're not talking about a significant outlay of money to enjoy quality time and develop a bond and with your significant... And that is the important uh, part, yeah, that's right? It. Exactly. This is kind of our date thing. We get to do this every Sunday. Sunday afternoon now has become kind of a routine. I like it. I'm glad you do. I hope that you guys do too. So if you are new to this, we do a video together every Monday. And if you've been watching... Filmed on Sunday afternoons. So yes. Yeah. Yep, maximizing our bonding. And if you've been with us a while, we're sticking with it. We're not going anywhere, so I hope you're enjoying it. If this is not your thing, that's totally cool. Sundays I put up our weekly vlogs, and Wednesday and Friday I do more beauty-related videos. Absolutely. So there's something for everyone on this channel. Yeah, and I think we'd probably like to hear from y'all if you have other ideas for date night, because we're, you know, our kids, like we said, we're, <laughs> we're, we're getting closer and closer to the empty nest 
point, so <laughs> we need to figure out ways to yeah. occupy our time together. Speaking of empty nesting, we've got one kid working on college apps, so yes. I'm going to say goodbye we've so we can see if editing. there's been progress we've made. We've got to do some review and editing, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. He's doing a good job. Yeah, we'll keep you job. posted on that front. Anyway, thank yes. you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you in the next video. See you next week. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. How are you? I'm here with Jason, married to Pandora. We're oh. drinking so much sangria right now. No, we're not, but we're going to. Right? We're going to drink a bunch. And now they have two, pink and red.